Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to see how to create a control chart on a simple Excel file. And do not forget to uh, hit the subscribe button uh, for more uh, videos on Lean and Six Sigma and tools and techniques on how to use on a day to day basis. So let's get started. Let me take an example to show how to construct a control chart. So let us assume I have uh, 20 data points or uh, 20 samples which I'm collecting the data and uh, the data is a continuous data. And now for this continuous data, what I can calculate is an average which is like uh, the mean that I can calculate from the data points and I can also calculate the standard deviation from the data data set. So now this is good enough to, to construct a control chart and let me show you how the construction of a control chart would be. Let us assume these are my 20 data points and if I just join them this is how it would look and my average or a mean line would be at the center. Let us assume this is my mean or an average value and my control limits would be always three standard deviation away from my mean or the center line, right? So this is my three standard deviations on the positive side and this is my three standard deviations on the negative side and these lines are called control limits and I'm going to call them as upper control limit and lower control limit. This is exactly what we are going to do the construction on an Excel file. Now, I'm not getting into the details about the control chart and uh, I'm going to prepare or make a separate video uh, for the control charts. And for now, we are only looking at how to construct this on a simple Excel file when you do not have access to statistical softwares like Minitab or uh, any uh, add-on package like Jump kind of a thing. So let me uh, show you how to do this on a... Th okay, so I'm taking this simple Excel file and uh, giving it a name for this column has data and uh, let me name this as uh, days for column A and uh, now let me generate some random data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called ran between and I'm giving I would like to get the numbers between 50 and 100 right. So now I got a random number and how many data points do I need? I need say for an example I need here 20 data points. So let us assume this is 20 days of data and I'm just going to just drag this to get the random numbers between 50 and 100 and I'm considering this data has continuous data set. And now since it is randomized right now whenever I hit and enter this will change so I do not want to have these numbers changed frequently so I'm going to copy it and paste the values paste the data as values. Now these are simple values and uh, this would not change. right? Now as a first step what I'm going to do is calculate the average or the mean value. So what is the function that I'm going to use? Use average and select the data set and here to freeze this particular array I'm going to use function f4 to freeze that. Now we have the average value of the data set here. Now similarly I'm going to I'm going to calculate my standard deviation or sigma. So for that I'm going to use the function standard deviation and in this case since I'm using the older version of Microsoft Excel I do not have options like what we 
currently have in uh, latest versions you might see standard deviation sample which you can use or you can use simple standard deviation and now I'm going to select the data set and freeze the cells to get my standard deviation so now we have our average value under standard deviation now for the construction of the control chart what we have seen we have our mean we have our upper control limit and lower control limit to get the upper control limit we are going to multiply the standard deviation by 3 to get this control limit here so going back to excel so if i want to calculate my plus 3 sigma the formula should be your average value plus three times your standard deviation to get your upper control limit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert another column and say this is my UCL upper control limit right so now I can just extend this all the way down oops that I also need to extend this and I'm gonna extend this that's my upper control limit and my lower control limit so which is minus 3 Sigma so now your average minus your three times your standard deviation that's my lower control limit so we have calculated our standard deviation average plus 3 Sigma and minus 3 Sigma now let us quickly create this graph to see whether we got the control chart or not so now I'm gonna select my data set here and I'm gonna also take my average into consideration and I'm also gonna select my plus or minus three standard deviations here right I'm gonna go insert I'm gonna pick a line graph to actually get this so now if I just make some uh, modifications to it and now these are my data points here if I just add data labels and this is my lower control limit and this is my upper control limit so which is plus 3 Sigma and minus 3 Sigma with this you can construct a simple control chart on an Excel and if you want to further do some special causes testing on this control charts for an example if I am modifying one data sample here you see this here which is outside my three Sigma control limits with this you can also test whether there are any special causes in your data I'm not going through all different tests that we have we have uh, eight different tests that we can perform on a continuous data but in this video I'm just limiting to the construction of a control chart on a simple Excel hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, for more content like this on lean and six Sigma please do subscribe our channel and uh, please provide your feedback and comments in the section below and do let us know if you are looking for specific content so that we will try and uh, create those videos so that it can help you uh, wherever it is required uh, thank you very much and have a great day